Haikus about the ocean always seem to relax me, especially when they're about hermit crabs. They're just such free spirits. They move around from shell to shell without a worry in the world. I like that concept. Why am I thinking about this? Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Oh, uh, fine, Mr. Frondworth. Nice. Uh, look, you see that kid sitting over there? His name is Mitch. He's been in the school, I don't know, about a week. Now, I know you like to come here on your off periods, but I was thinking, I don't know, maybe you could show him around, get him acquainted with some other kids, you know, make him feel welcome. Why can't you do it? Well, he needs somebody his age to connect with. And frankly, I don't need him getting attached to me, you know? I mean, he'll probably barge in here every day, look at the cactuses. I don't really feel like dealing with him on my lunch break. What do you mean cacti? No, uh, cactuses. Go on. Hey. Uh, so, you're new here, right? No, no thanks. Mitchell Owens Parker. Jeff. Oh. So, um, you like cacti? They're my favorite plant. They remind me of my Aunt Velma's back hair. I can't wait to see her next Thursday. She likes to bring me a Snickers bar every time I see her. Snickers is my favorite chocolate bar, by the way. It's strange, though. Every time I eat them, my throat gets really itchy. The same thing happens when you eat anything with nuts in it. It's very odd. What about you? Do you like pistachios? How about almonds? Cashews? Chestnuts? Honestly, you seem like a macadamia kind of guy. What about coconuts? Are they nuts? I can never remember. <gasps> five seconds and you tear up the place. What the hell is wrong with you? You know how long this is going to take me to clean up? Huh? Let alone the cost to replace cactuses. Look, you think cactuses grow all over the place? Just, what? Just settle down. Settle down. Okay. Look, what? Look, uh, it was an accident. I, I knocked mm -hmm. him over. It was me. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry. Oh, you're sorry. So that's okay, right? Guess what? It's kind of not. So, at 3 p.m., you could be extra sorry, all right? You know what room you go into? Come on, take yes. Let's play that game. Room two o. Oh. Come on, say it with me. Four. Four. There you go. What's what happens there? Detention. Yeah, that detention. There you go. You're a pro. Clean that up before you go. Do me a favor. Fucking. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Did what? You took the blame. Why? I don't know. It's, it's no big deal. <laughs> no one's ever done something like that for me before. <laughs> What's up? Hi. So, what are you in for? We had to dissect frogs in biology class, so I set them free. You. This new kid knocked over all these cacti in the art room. So I took the blame for it. That's really nice of you. This kid happened to be named Mitch. 
Yeah, as you know. Sounds like something my twin brother would do. So you're his... I'll let Piper Parker. <laughs> I'm Jeff. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Uh, so you've been here like a week now, right? Yeah, we're from um, a town in Tennessee that still thinks it's part of the Confederacy. My dad's in the army and he got promoted, so we moved here. What's that, like your diary? <laughs> no, actually I write haikus. Oh, let's hear it. I don't usually share my Go on. haikus. Go <laughs> Go on. A vast, deep ocean. Hermit crabs swim without fear. Big man eats them all. Was, was it that bad? No. No. Um, it's much better than this crap after we for school. No, well, let me do that. It's classic. What? Love at first sight? You joke. Come on. They knew each other for like 24 hours and then they got married? What if... Okay, what if they hadn't killed themselves and a year later Juliet had found out that Romeo was a pedophile? She would have felt real stupid for trying to kill herself, then, wouldn't she? So, what does love mean to you? Why are you giving me these? What is wrong with you, Olive? You've been detention every day since we got here. So what? So what? You need to learn to control yourself. You're driving up the wall. Starting next week, you'll be attending Catholic boarding school. What? That's not fair. You look like a give a shit. You can pick a bright little girl. What happened? Hey, Jeff, I can't wait to spend the next four years with you. Bye. A long four years it was. Like Mr. Farnsworth said, Mitch got attached, and he wouldn't let go. And as for Olive, I wouldn't see her again until the night before my graduation. Mitch had invited me over to what I thought would be a small get-together. I don't know, but it's getting really out of hand. I've already lost my retainer. These guys, they gave Spencer here these colorful postage stamps. Told him to put it on his tongue. He won't get off the couch now. The therapist says I have slightly mild misogynistic tendencies because I'm bitter as a result of a high frequency of rejections from a number of love interests. Whoa. I don't think those are postage stamps. Well, be careful, Jeff. My dad says that people give out meth lollipops at parties like this. You made it! Are you, are you drunk? What? Are you drunk? Am I supposed to be? What's with the ugly shirt? What? No. 
What? Why are these people here? I don't know. You'll have to ask my sister. Okay. Whoa. Where is she? Yeah. I, I have no idea. All right. Thanks anyway. Yeah. But um, some fans. Huh? You look ridiculous. Fine, um, Mitch invited me for like a little get together. I wasn't expecting all of this. Oh, well, I graduated last week, so we're celebrating. But, you know, you invite some people and they invite some people, and you know, suddenly you have people puking in your mother's face. <laughs> Wait, aren't you afraid they're gonna find out? They can blow it out their ass. <laughs> they're away for the weekend, so it's fine. Olive! Come quick! Someone's puking in your mom's face. Again? God, get me another drink, Laura. so cold that you can actually freeze children in the blocks of ice. It's really interesting actually, they freeze right away, there's really no delay whatsoever. And the child's never really killed, he's just sort of in a cryo state so you could unload him 20 years later. Yeah, so if you have pancakes in North Dakota, apparently it's illegal to put syrup on the right side of the cake because someone actually found a way to turn a pancake into a 9mm. We wanted to watch this really awesome avant-garde film, but your VCR is broken. Can you go check it out? Yeah. Is it that one with the, the flickering lights and the, and the shutter sound? No, no, no. It's the one where they film an empty room for 40 minutes. It was made by some guy in Canada in the 60s. Oh, I've seen it really shows how, how nothing is changing, and yet everything is changing, often imperceptibly and deceptively. Oh my god. jeez. Are you not? Whatever. Urination's a natural bodily function. Don't see why people get so uptight about it. What happened to you? Some kids thought I would look better as a bowl of cereal. Wanna help me out? Um. Uh, sure. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> what? Nothing. Every time I visit Mitch, he always talks about you. Really? Yeah. He really looks up to you. Talks about what a great guy you are. I didn't know that. Oh, so how was Catholic boarding school? <laughs> yeah. Those nuns really know how to use a ruler. So what are you going to do now, now that you're graduating? I'm going to travel. Now I've always had this dream that I would just roam the country, you know, just go from job to job, help me getting around the cities. I feel like that's the only way I can be really free, you know? Really? Yeah. Well, I, uh, I just got accepted to Columbia for writing. Wow. Fancy. Still write your haiku? Yeah, but I don't know how to feel about it, like the whole college thing.
so long. You remember that time we were in detention? And I asked you a question? What? No. Well, we were talking about, like, Romeo and Juliet. And, uh... Do you hear that? Do I hear cats? No, I like cats, but it's not too appropriate. No, the door. Mow the horn. What are you talking about? The door? Olive, are you oh. in there? <laughs> What's up? Oh. Is that guy throwing up in the face again? In the bathroom? Ooh, kinky? Oh, um, no. I think someone's starting a fight. Great. Jeff, come on, let's go. Give me the ball. Bro, I, I do what I want to do. Tell him, Spencer. Give me the fucking ball. This ball? I need another drink. Oh, I got my flag, got my bad attitude. And you're not even throwing it right, all right? Your elbow is supposed to be behind the table, all right? This guy's taking this really seriously. Who the fuck said that? I did. What the fuck, man? What? No, Mitch, we need this. What, he asked me a question? You think this is some motherfucking Whoa. game? Chill. You wanna go too? Be a is not just a game. Be a life. Jeff, I need you to do something. Jeff, listen. Listen! We need to find Alan and get out of here. Now. Yeah, walk away and fuck your shirt too. Olive, 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 come on, <laughs> come on, we gotta go. Oh. Yeah. Where we go? Can we get pancakes? Oh, no, no, can we get waffles? <laughs> no, you're feisty when you haven't had your nap. Come on. <laughs> cool, what, guys? You gotta respect yourself before you respect the game, all right? Fuck y'all. I'm going to Dizzy's. You. I need to stop. Are you okay? What do you mean? We both saw what happened to Mitch. You think he'll be all right? I honestly have no idea. You know, you're my cactus. Excuse me? Well, when people are stuck in the desert, they're constantly looking for ways to stay alive. When they see a cactus, they don't really think much of it because of its, pr its spiky exterior. Oh, nice thing. <laughs> D don't you mean, um, like a rose? What? No, no, just let me finish. If people don't realize, a cactus is full of water and life. And that's you, all. You're my cactus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People in France call their lovers cabbages. And I didn't mean it that way. You know, um, I like your shirt. Right after high school, Mitch was sent off to basic. 
and then active duty after that. After almost two years of no contact, we received a call telling us that Mitch had gone MIA. I'm not sure if that meant he just got separated from his squad, if he was captured, or if he just simply went AWOL. I just remember thinking, I would never see Mitch again. Jeff, you're my hermit crab. What are you talking about? <laughs>